Jerome Ford, the Alabama running back, and the younger brother of Tua. Looking to pass. Now floats one, a dangerous toss, but it is caught for the first down. A flag on the field. Slade Bolden makes the reception. He played as a Wildcat quarterback earlier in this contest. Two flags on the playing surface. We'll check the penalties. But he is certainly going to be in the mix if, in fact, Tua decides to forego his eligibility and enter the NFL draft. It's going to be a heck of a showdown between Talia Tungabaloa, Mac Jones, and, and Paul Tyson, the other freshman quarterback. Tonga by law rolling out. He's a right-handed passer, and he completes it to Ruggs. Don't forget about Bryce Young, who is expected to be at Alabama. That's going to make it real interesting. Here are some of the details. Tonga by law, number five quarterback in the ESPN 300. And they say the main difference, he wasn't quite as physically developed as Tua. Tua arrived on campus, and he looked the part. He looked like a junior or a senior already the day he arrived. And... And Talia is still kind of forming his body to what he wants it to be and, and becoming more athletic. Tonga Balo on third down, steps up, avoids a sack. Now backs up and dumps it off. Here's Robinson, and he stretches out and has a first down for Alabama. Good job by Talia keeping that play alive and moving the chains. A great job moving in the pocket. Stepping up, Telvin Aguim beats Brown around, around the edge, and he just continues to create, keeps his eyes downfield, and throws a ni nice, accurate throw to Robinson. It's, it's very close. They gave him the first down on the field, but very close there as Robinson stretched. And then he's got to kind of talk him out of it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we know. yeah, you know, kind of slow play it a little bit. But the kid is a gunslinger. That's what he is. They had something on that ball as he hits Waddle and put up some incredible numbers at Thompson High School in Alabama. The Tonga Bailoa family moved here from Hawaii when Tua committed. Especially when you take into account that two of those balls were thrown away and one was dropped. And that first start, correct me if I'm wrong, for Tua came after he had won a national championship. Correct. As a against, backup. Yeah. Against Louisville at the start of the season last year. And no doubt. And with where we're at now with the transfer portal and kids getting disgruntled, you use the term engaged. So important for kids to have a role, know they're going to play, know they're going to get better and be involved. Talk about Lola dumps it off to Waddle and see where he stepped out. Looks like he's got the first down. Yeah, I think he's just passed it. A good job by Waddle knowing the yard to gain. Tell you what, it's going to be a heck of a, a heck of a battle, though, for all these young freshmen as they continue to progress. Talia Tongavaloa, the, the best example of that, Tom. And obviously, they're not thinking about that one right now. They're, they're thinking about finishing this game, getting as healthy as they can get, and putting their sights on the LSU Tigers that will be here in a couple weeks. But... Still a long way to go, but Alabama is certainly looking excellent tonight. Here's Waddle. Again, just shows you some of that incredible skill as he backtracks past the 35 and inside the 20 before he goes out of bounds. Well, one thing to keep in mind for Alabama, some of the injuries they've suffered in this game, which we'll show you in a second after we show you what Waddle just did here to the Arkansas defense. I mean, he's Dante Hall. I mean, that, that's, that's what I see. He's not... It's a little bit thicker than Dante Hall, but remember when Dante Hall was just dominating his college football in the NFL with, in the return game. I mean, he is sensational. And Nalu and Diane move to Tuscaloosa after Tua. Side with the Crimson Tide. Another easy touchdown for Devontae Smith. The screen pass nets 15 and six more. The state can actually jump LSU in the coming weeks with some marquee matchups, including Michigan coming up, and obviously what they do today against the Cow team.